Welcome back to another video with Schools Out Fishing. Today we're talking about fin ID on Great Lakes trout and salmon. Trout and salmon are put together the same way. They're both salmonids and this is a beautiful rainbow trout. It's 29 inches long and we're going to talk about the fins on this fish. The first set of fins that we come to is called the pectoral fins. Just like on a human's body, this would be kind of where the chest of the fish is. We have pectoral muscles, the fish has pectoral fins. The next fin that we come across as we go down the fish's body is at the top of the fish, and that's the dorsal fin. Just like the movie, movie Jaws, that should be pretty easy to remember. The dorsal fin is on the top. Then the next set of fins is on the belly of the fish again, and that set of fins is called the pelvic fins. Just like your pelvis is kind of midway down your body, the pelvic fins are midway down Great Lakes trout and salmon. We come to the anus, that's not a fin, but there is a fin just behind the anus, and that is called the anal fin. Again, pretty easy to remember. Then you see on the top of the fish, there's a really small rubbery fin, that's called the adipose fin. Adipose means like fat storage. Um, the fish really doesn't use that, and that's why uh, the adipose fin is cut off most of the time to identify different fish. Um, the, the salmon, the king salmon in this lake, um, every single one that's stocked into the lake gets that adipose fin clipped off it before it's put into the lake. And then finally, if you want to be basic in a good way, this is called the tail. If you want to impress people, you'd call that the caudal fin. Either way works. You can call it the tail, you can call it the caudal fin. And that's what that looks like on this rainbow trout. We also caught this king salmon this morning. We can tell that this salmon was stocked in Lake Michigan because it's missing this adipose fin right here. It was cut off. You can kind of see maybe a little bit of a ridge where it was, but then an indent where that automatic knife slid across there and took that off. If this fish still would have had that adipose fin, we would know that that fish hatched in a river and swam out into the lake. The DNR does that for identification purposes, keeping track of how much natural reproduction is done on Lake Michigan.